If you're a YouTuber or you want to learn about Pixel Matter, stick around. I'm going to take you deep inside the app and I'm going to show you how I create beautiful social media graphics, beautiful thumbnails for my YouTube videos, how I work smart, how I save my assets, and how you can leverage this powerful app. Stay tuned. Hey, it's me, Brian G. Welcome back. High five. In this video, I take you deep inside a very cool app called Pixel Matter. Now, this is an app specifically for iOS. It's available for the phone or the iPad, and I'm going to walk you through a lot of technical details on how to create amazing photos, social media graphic, thumbnail, or whatever. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson helping you to stake your claim, amplify your message and inspire action. Like being able to inspire people to subscribe to your channel or being able to inspire someone to buy. Inspire action and you'll win. One of the ways you can do that is by grabbing attention with a beautiful optimized social media graphic thumbnail or whatever. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at Pixel Matter. This is a tremendous app that's available for the iPhone as well as the iPad. It does cost a few dollars. However, it offers functionality that other apps can not even come close to. In fact, much of the functionality you would find in, in an, an application like Photoshop or something for a desktop computer. Things like the ability to, uh, well, let me show you. Check this out here. If I come into this image, one of the things I can do that's really powerful is I can come in into the edit screen. And to do that, I'll simply click the paintbrush. And then I'm going to select. And what I can do is I can kind of create a, an outline of an image. And then I can take the outline and I can protect the image, allowing me to paint around it. I can remove backgrounds. I can create really fantastic, cool effects. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. One of the things I can do is I can come in and select uh, paint. I'm going to do that now. And notice, first off, I'm currently using an Apple Pencil. And it's a, a great uh, tool to really create great art, graphics, and whatnot. Now, you can use a, a cheap, inexpensive uh, stylus of 10, 20 bucks on Amazon. You can use your finger. Notice we've got pencils, crayons, markers. We've got all types of different um, brushes to choose from. I like this scattered brush that's located in paint. I'm going to select that. Next, I'm going to come into the color I want. And one of the things I, I really love about this app is I can select the eyedrop tool or the select tool and I can find the exact color I want to paint by just dragging uh, this around and selecting it. So what I really want to do is kind of get a white background. So I'm going to select done. I'm going to come back here, or rather to the color tool. And instead of using the eyedrop tool to tell the app what color I want to use, I'm simply going to select white in the lower left corner down below. And I'll do that. Now I'm going to increase the size of the brush and I'm going to paint and notice because I, I've selected the, the image, I can really control what I'm painting very easy. Let's make the brush a bit larger. And you can really get some really fantastic, cool effects, whether you're creating a, a Facebook profile image, whether you're creating a thumbnail and so on. So I'm, I'm first I'm going to kind of paint this like so. I'm going to create a really light background. And then I'm going to come in and do some cool, uh, fun stuff and show you what we can do. So at this point, what I've done is I've, I've painted the picture. Now I've got a very, very white, crisp uh, background, super, and it looks awesome. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to uh, paint it again. And I think what I'll do is this is pretty good. I'm going to uh, export this photo. Now, one of the things I love about Pixel Matter is to do that, I select Send a Copy. And right off the bat, I can select what type of file format I want my image to be. Really helpful because if I'm creating a video, 
I want to select PNG, the quality of the images are going to be much better in a video as PNG. However, for the web, I can select uh, JPEG and it will be just fine. So I'll select Save Image. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into Images. I'm going to click on the plus and I'm going to access Photos. And now you're going to see the image we just created. So that comes in uh, like so. And it looks like I missed a little bit of the paint. You see up top, I didn't paint that all the way. That's okay, because actually what we're going to do now is we're going to create another, what's called a uh, select. And this time we're going to select a free section. And I'll show you what we're going to do. We're just going to kind of, kind of like come around like so. Now I'm doing this very fast. I'd probably take a little bit more time, but you get the idea. And at this point, what I've done is I've selected the image again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go invert and let's see what happens if we come in and we paint. And this time, let's say we want to paint the background kind of like uh, maybe the color of Otis, which is my standard poodle Otis. So we want that color. I select done. And sure enough, we're good to go. And, and notice what we're doing is we've got now that nice white outline around the outside of our our image and it really creates a fantastic look. A couple of things I want to show you about the brush. Number one, check out the opacity. I can dial it way down and if I come in and just kind of go fast, you can see and you can see just how cool this app really is. And you can create a, create a lot of really amazing effects using pixel matter, especially if you're you're into the Apple pencil. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and let's uh, export that again or share it. So I'll select the export menu that's right here. I'll select send a copy and this time I'll select I'd like to save a PNG and I'm going to save the image is that I can come in and I can select images and I can start out from uh, nothing at all. So I can click the plus. I can go create image. I can come in and select custom. And then I can add the exact dimensions I want. Now, for a thumbnail, uh, 1920 by 1080p, so I'll select uh, that right now. And I select it, and I then click Create, and there you go. I can make the image smaller. I can make it bigger. If I swipe from the left, I can see the layers that I'm using. I'll just tap the screen again to get rid of that thing. There, it's gone. Now what I want to do is I want to really build a, a cool image. And to do that, what I'm going to do is come into uh, Photos, and I'm going to select 2016. And I've got some really neat images here. I want to show you just what's possible with this app. Let's find this one right here is really a, a neat image. And what I want to do is first I'm going to kind of scale down the image to, to what I'm looking for. So this is looking pretty darn good. So at this point, I'm going to get out of that, and, and it looks awesome. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the background and, and really kind of create something. Let's do this just like this. One of the things I love about this app is I can crop, and I can scale, and I can uh, tilt it left and right when I'm cropping. So I kind of want it about like this, and I want it just a teeny bit smaller, I think would be great. Actually, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. That looks great. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in to my tools pane. I'm going to select again. I'm going to go again to the magnetic section tool. Super powerful, really easy. And I'm going to pinch this image just a little bit, and I'm going to move it to about right here. So I can really see most of the image. And now I'm going to start creating my, uh, my outline. And notice I can zoom in, zoom out by pinching, and that gives me an awful lot of control with the section tool and allows me to get my fingers in and, and, and create a real natural look where I can remove a background and yet it looks, it looks natural. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and I've created the outline. I'm gonna go ahead and select Done. Now I'm going to come back and select it again. This time I'm going to select the option in the left menu, Invert. 
Now I'm going to hold my finger down. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go ahead and just remove and cut away the background. To do that, I'm going to select Cut. And all I did was hold my finger down on the image. And now I've removed uh, myself, but what I can do is I can come back. Let's come into Images. We'll create another image. To do that, I'll click the plus sign. And I hit Paste. And now I've pasted the outline of myself onto the image, and it looks just about perfect. So at this point, I'm going to export the image again. To do that, I select Send a Copy. Now I'm going to select uh, Save Image. And I do that, and if I come into my Photos album, and I come into uh, Albums, and then Camera Roll, you'll see my most recent image is this right here. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to incorporate borders and to do that I'm going to use another app called Photoshop Mix. This is a great um, app as well, very powerful. And what I like about this is that it, it's a little bit easier to use image a, a lot of different images on top of each other. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I'm going to select this image and, and now the image is selected. I deselect. I kind of resize the image on the canvas and I'm going to create a border uh, using some brand elements. Those are located on my iPad in another album. I've selected uh, on my iPad and then I'm going to go to logos and this is the image I want to select. Now notice I can move this around and that's exactly what I want to do. I'm going to kind of create something like this. That actually looks really good and I can duplicate that. I'm just going to pull that over like this. I'm going to duplicate that one and I'm just going to uh, repeat this process until I get kind of a, a nice border. And I only get about five or six uh, images, right? So these images on the right, you can see they're outlined in, in blue. I get one, two, three, and four. So to get around that, I simply uh, save to my camera roll. When it's completed, I come in and I select the plus to create a new image. I select the image on uh, my camera roll, the most recent. And I come in and I start the process again. And there you have it, beautiful, looking really cool, using the power of some uh, awesome apps. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And that one's gonna get saved to my templates. One of the things you can do to work smart is to create albums of your, your images. So here I have Pro 2016, photo shoot. I use all these images for my social media graphic. 2014, this was when I, uh, released Trust Funnel and I went and had a photo shoot for some promotion. These are my brand assets, um, different types of splats, different um, image logos and so on. And then if you come down here, you see I've saved most of my thumbnails, uh, always changing, tweaking. And if we look below, you can see I've got Lavender Cowboy, I've got Yellow Cowboy, and different um, elements of thumbnails that I can use that are already done, they're templates. All I need to do is drop in uh, the text and I'm good to go. My most recent and now I've got another template built in. Now lastly, one of the things I wanted to share with you is let's come back to Pixel Matter. I'm gonna go back to Images once again. I'm gonna click the plus, I'm gonna access Photos and now I can access the most recent image that we've created and you can see here it is. I can resize uh, to my heart's content. 
So here you can see our image, and here's what is so incredibly powerful about this app. One of the things that you really want to focus on with social media, with YouTube thumbnails, is creating typography that grabs people's attention, that's fun, that's exciting, that's also easy to read. And uh, the biggest part of that is being able to find fonts that are cool. So you can come in here and you can see we've got a, a several different types of fonts and whatnot. And I can select this one and then I can come in and say, uh, and I can uh, tap and select the text. And here you can see I've, I've actually moved the image and I wanna undo that, I'll do that now. I've selected the text again. And at this point, what I can do is check this out. I can select the paintbrush. I come in and notice we've got fonts. And this is exactly really what I want to do is I want to get really large text and it's starting to break apart, but no problem. I've got room. And let's tilt it just a little bit, kind of like this. And let's see if we can in increase the size just a bit still. And if I come in and I select the paintbrush again, so first select the text, paintbrush, I can come in and notice we've got a tab that says style in the top. I'll click that and now is when a whole bunch of options uh, make themselves available. Check out we've got stroke. If I click that I'm going to set the color to a mustardy yellow and boom! Um, looks really cool and I can select the size of that that I want. And really about four or five is going to look really nice and kind of make that text pop and really stand out. And you can see it's doing just that. And I'm gonna move this image like this. And now maybe I wanna select it again. I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste. And there we go, I've copied and paste. Now let's tap. And at this point, I think I can make more views a little bit bigger and I wanna play around with the text. So let's change the stroke to like a reddish color, okay? And that looks cool, but I wanna dial uh, back the, the thickness of it. So I'm gonna take it to about a three. And I, it's not quite there. Let's come in and see if we do a gray. That's kinda of cool. Or maybe what we wanna do is change the color, right? So let's change the color to a light gray. Then we're gonna come into the stroke and we're gonna make the stroke a kind of a charcoaly gray and we're gonna increase the size now. Okay, cool, that looks really good. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into the text and we're gonna make it even bigger. Perfect, now we're gonna come back to the uh, style and we're gonna make the border just a little bit bigger like so. That looks really fantastic. And now I wanna come in and make it just a bit smaller. And there you go, a beautiful uh, thumbnail, ready to roll, looks fantastic. Let's export it. And you can see it's pretty, it looks really nice. And if I shrink it down, it's gonna look great and so on. So there you have it, Pixel Matter, amazing app. Hope you found this helpful. Hey, if you're new here to Brian G. Johnson TV, make sure you go ahead and click the subscribe button. Would love to have you as a subscriber, and I'll see you next time.